Hi, and welcome to another GCSE PE in three, where we try and do a mini topic in around three minutes. And then this one's gonna be on the circulation of blood around the body. Now this is a really interactive session, so you could stop this at any time. You can try and draw out the pattern of blood or the passage of blood. You could do a flow chart for how that blood flows, however works best for you. So we're gonna look at two of the systems to start with. So we're gonna look at the systemic circulation. Now the systemic circulation is the circulation from the heart to the body and back again. And we're gonna look at the pulmonary circulation and that is from the heart to the lungs and back again because the heart is a double pump. It pumps blood to the lungs and it pumps blood to the body. Okay, let's look at the pulmonary circulation first. So the pulmonary circulation is the part where the heart links to the lungs because the word pulmonary is related in Latin to lungs, okay? So in the pulmonary uh, circulation, we have deoxygenated blood leaving the right ventricle, flowing to the lungs in the pulmonary artery, getting to the lungs and using capillaries, picking up uh, oxygen and dropping off carbon dioxide, then traveling back to the heart, but this time to the left-hand side of the heart in the pulmonary vein, it would then enter the left atrium. Now the systemic circulation, that works oxygenated blood to the body and then back again. So for this, oxygenated blood leaves the left ventricle, carrying oxygenated blood down to all parts of the body, drops off the oxygen, picks up carbon dioxide and other waste products and returns to the heart in the vena cava and it enters the heart in the right atrium. Now that happens for about one blood cell in around a minute. It can do all of those things in around a minute. So I'm going to go through the complete passage of blood so you can see how, how both systems link together. So we're going to start with a deoxygenated blood cell and it's going to travel from the body and into the right atrium. It will then pass through the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle. It will be pumped out of the right ventricle, out of the heart, into the pulmonary artery. It will travel into the lungs, pick up oxygen and drop off carbon dioxide. It uses capillaries to do that. I've got another video, check that out. From the lungs, it then returns to the heart in the pulmonary vein. It will come back to the heart and it will enter the left atrium. It will travel through the left atrium, through the bicuspid valve, into the left ventricle. It will then be pumped out of the left ventricle into the largest artery, which is the aorta. That aorta will then divide and take it to all different parts of the body, the brain, the arms, the legs, and the major organs. Now, as oxygen is dropped off in through the capillaries and gas exchange, it will then travel back, deoxygenated blood, all the way back up the body from whichever part in the vena cava, it will travel into the right atrium again, and that's the passage of blood. Now, what you could do now is you could draw that out or do a flow diagram, go back on this video, pause some of the diagrams that I've got. Okay, check out the other videos I've got on the circulatory or cardiovascular system. I've also got some other ones for mini revision too. Good luck.